is about that time. What's going on, YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, I've given you hoarder house tours in the past. Yes, if you don't know, I purchased a hoarder house and there has been a lot of improvements, some of which you haven't seen in a while. It's been a few months since I made a hoarder house video. I'm in the man cave now, which is normally where my content comes from. Just a sneak peek of the, the man cave tour. It, it's coming, it's on, it's on its way to come back to give you some of that man cave goodness. I mean, you gotta, it's behind the curtain. You, you, you will be seeing that soon, but let's actually go into the house, check out some of the improvements we've done on the hoarder house. If you wanna just skip ahead to the EDC junk drawer, hit the buttons. There's chapter markers down below. Skip to the EDC junk drawer. But what the heck does it mean to have an EDC junk drawer? I guess for me, it really just depends on your use cases. So as we're going through this thing, we're modifying this house, we're making stuff look better, et cetera, et cetera. We have got to whip things into shape and my number one go-to has become my actual, I guess we call it everyday carry junk drawer, which has been whipped into shape into a tool drawer. So we'll talk about that here in a second. All right, so one of the first places I wanna show you guys is the front entryway because it looked completely chaotic. Initially, our dining room was crazy and excuse the actual house as it is. This is life. This is how life is. So dining room is so much better. We're still deciding on paint color in here. It's going to be one of those colors, but it's 10 times better in here, man. I'll, if you remember, this was just covered from floor to ceiling with all sorts of crap. So we did paint this mirror accent black. That's looking a lot better. Let me take you. We also got a new front door. Ripped out the old front door. Now we have this big old glorious double wide green door here. So besides the actual new front door, we have a new look for the old living room, which are kind of played out. Modern living room in the 90s, I get it. You sit around, you do nothing. It's now a babe cave. Let me show you what we did with this. The babe cave in all of its glory. This is Mrs. X room painted all green walls. Only thing we got doing here is add a door, do a little bit of touch up, but this is her, this is her space. And she'll kick my butt because this needs to be picked up, but whatever, it gives you vision, man. It gives you vision of how everything goes. And you'll see it in a couple months when everything is all up and going, but. So all of that stuff is fine and dandy, but my go-to hands down has got to be my junk drawer which has been whipped into shape let me give you like a before of kind of what the junk drawer looks like and kind of what it looks like now so all right so this is a junk drawer next to my current fixed junk drawer this is a drawer supposed to be for wine and i don't know it just it didn't it didn't work out so great my nice organized everyday junk drawer so fantastic now i just want to show you how everything looks in here and then i'll give you the breakdown of all the critical items that we keep in here. And this is gonna make you go from zero to hero if you do something similar to this. I promise you a lot. The first thing here, we do have this Skill 4, four volt electric screwdriver by Skill. It's very simple. Twist one way to go forward, twist the other to go backwards. That's all you really need if you're just doing a little stuff around the house, putting stuff together. But it comes with the charger. It also comes with a bunch of bits, which I was not expecting, but you get a bunch of, they give you bits with it as well. I mean, how used for all of them, I don't know. Whatever you're gonna see fit. We'll talk about this here in a second as well. Another thing we have in here, of course, you always have to have yourself some form of measurement tool. So we do have the DeWalt 25. I think everyone has one of these. If you don't have one of these, then then you're doing it wrong. Everybody and their mom has one. So we do have the, a traditional ratcheting bit set in here. It kind of goes along with the screwdriver, the electric screwdriver, just in case this thing is dead, which it shouldn't be. But if it is, um, then we do have the actual screwdriver set here, which has all sorts of bits, a very small claw hammer, which you don't really need anything bigger than this. That thing has been in here for a couple years, a level. Not only that, it's a magnetic level. Other than, the only thing I think I want to add to this kit is probably a stud detector. But um, well, I think everything else is pretty concrete. But in this actual pouch, this is a pouch by, I think it's a spanker pouch. The outside has a pen and pad. So if you're taking notes, walking around the house, measuring stuff, you have that with you. 
the inside, some long nose pliers, and Olight, I think an I3T flashlight, adjustable wrench up to six inches. We do have kind of a more of a locking wrench or a set of pliers back here, adjustable. This is a set of open uh, wrenches. I think it goes from, let's see. Yeah, so it goes from six, it skips seven up to 13. So six, it does skip seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I don't know who uses the seven. This handles everything, tightening toilet seats or you know if you have to adjust something in the house this makes for quick adjustments without having to go get my good tools out the garage and then we keep a little bit of anti-corrosion stuff in here if i'm installing something near water that just makes a lot of sense so okay this next item in the junk drawer you need to sit down if you're a grandpa I, I just don't i don't want you to get too excited because this is this could get you excited let me just have a seat look at my battery organization Yeah, that's pretty much everything you could have ever imagined. I mean, you know, you got your double A's, triple A's, you have your nine volts, you have your C's and D's, you have a battery tester in this bad boy, let you know batteries are good or bad. Extra compartment up here, and this is where I keep excess batteries. I like organized batteries, you know why? I go through my kids' toys. I'm always checking Tonka trucks and Buzz Lightyears and Woody's and seeing if this crap, if the batteries still work. We've spent money on this or parents have spent money on Someone spent hard earned money on this stuff. I want to make sure it continues to work. I want my stuff working. So I'm a battery hawk. That is why everything in this drawer works in combination. You got the skill, four volt battery operated. This thing is fantastic. It is no more powerful than it needs to be. It's good for putting together furniture, et cetera, et cetera. Small tasks around the house keeps you from running out and getting your more powerful tools in the garage. Makes total sense. Listen, everything for that EDC junk drawer is linked down below. Anything that you might want, if I missed anything, you know, ask questions down below. You need to organize yours. Go from being a zero to a hero. It's going to get you all sorts of brownie points with your spouse or with whoever you're with or with yourself. Even if you live by yourself, organize it. You'll be more prone to keep yourself from running out and getting your more powerful tools, something like that. And just keeping it very simple with a loadout in your house. Make sure that you're subscribed down below. You're going to want to make sure you catch all the up coming content especially as the hoarder house continues to make improvements making improvements in the man cave the sh the babe cave is together the kids rooms are coming together it's looking so much better if this is your first time stopping by make sure you hit that subscribe button down below we would love to have you a part of the battalion if this is not your first time stopping by well welcome back thank you once again for watching me run my grape we will speak soon